On this episode of Iron Drummer, I am playing a snare drum. I am also playing a bass drum and a set of hats, but I'm actually going to talk to you about a bit of hardware, which I personally love. It is the DW One Touch Clutch. Now, before I get to the One Touch Clutch, I'm going to talk to you about the why, or the biggest reason why I like this uh, clutch so much. And it's due to the fact that we all have the same issue at some point in time where we have a higher clutch like this one, like a traditional clutch where the, you know, the bottom screw's on, you've got two felts, and you've got these two nuts right here. You want to change the tension, you want to kind of go from a bit of a drier sound or a bit more washy sound, or you just want to make a simple adjustment, you, we all undo that one, the top, tighten that one down, and then we have to lock this one in place. Now generally while we're doing this, we're pretty much playing on the fly. Kind of hard to do, so you lock it in place, and we all know that over the course of time, it could be a minute, it could be a couple of gigs or whatever, this will come loose, this little guy here. Another problem I found with, found with uh, traditional clutches is, we, we've all got this problem when we are setting up or packing up is, right, now Sam, the felts are now, the felts are now in the uh, total abyss, I don't know whether, actually, I actually have no idea where they've gone. Uh, they all go under the bass drum, under the pedal, or there's that gap in the stage that it's fall through and you buy new washes. All right, so that's that one. That's a traditional kind of clutch, so we'll just um, get rid of that one. And go to the other style of clutch, which is one where it locks in the bottom. See, just there, locks in the bottom. And it also locks in the top. Okay. Now, I've also found with clutches like this, um, there's also a roll pin inside. And over time, the whole central bit starts moving, comes undone. And I've tightened it up that many times, it's a joke. Same problem though. So, yeah, the gig, rehearsal studio, practicing, sitting up in your bedroom, whatever. And then, the abyss again. Um, they fall off, you lose them. But to adjust this, you have to undo this, Lock nut here, move it, and then tighten it up. Hard to do during a set, or a gig, or a wedding, or whatever you're doing. And the other thing is though, I've actually found that ones like this, being die cast, actually split right down the middle. So, all right, let's um, get rid of that. So, I'll get this baby. Ha ha, back. This is the DW One Touch Clutch. Now, I have this on my 5000 stand, I also have this one on my 3000 stand, which does like gigs or whatever, fits in a tiny little case. But I also have one of these in my travel bag. So basically, if I go interstate, international, if I go overseas doing a gig, or if I'm just doing a couple of sets as a guest spot somewhere, I take that with me. This is my go everywhere bit of gear. For the simple reason that, you undo this, so you can hear it turning, hear it locking, all right, so we take it off. This is the, this is one of the coolest bits of this thing. Is that? Uh, see, yeah, it's not coming off. That's actually stuck on, and it's really stuck on too. Um, it's not going to come off in a hurry. So we also have this is another cool thing on the inside here. We have a rubber sleeve, so we don't get that lovely curling effect in your symbols. So we chuck this on. Two things about normal hi hat clutches is that the bottom. At some point comes off. I was at Dennis Chambers clinic and he's playing along and the underneath section came off, stand guy came out with his technician, screwed it back on, put it down and then the top bit came up, came undone and his hi-hats are going over the place. Not very good. So this little guy however, this is a, a really cool part of this, is that it moves in quarter increments. This means that if you want to play doing a gig and you feel, I just need to get maybe a quarter turn or a half a turn, make it a little looser, a little tighter. You can do this on the fly, looser or tighter. It's, it's literally one touch. It's, there's literally very little uh, tension in there, and once, but once it's locked in, it's locked in. And the other cool thing, it's got a clamp-on style pivot. So um, once it's tightened up, it's on the stand, or on the rod, it's not going anywhere. So I'll jump back over there. Uh, I am 
dripping in sweat because it's like a billion degrees in here at the moment. Our AC still not working. So I'll see you over there, a quick demo of how this thing works, then I'll see you in the next episode and we'll resume normal snare drum transmission. By the way, I'm playing the black iron today because it's just beastly. I don't know where that abyss is. I think I found some of the felts. Oh, there's one. Yeah, I got, I got most of them. Oh, I just broke. Oh my god, just broke.